Hello crypto boys and ghouls and welcome back to the channel Tales from the Cryptmancer where we feature content on play and earn games on the blockchain such as Splinterlands and in today's video I wanted to kind of as we wait for maintenance here with LAN 1.5's launch I wanted to record this in real time and just talk a little bit about what we might expect to see on launch here on November 28th with LAN and the question that's come up is will land usage at the launch for 1.5 be underwhelming and i think that the question here is what percentage of land plots coming online would be underwhelming is that 20 percent is that you know less than 20 percent is it less than 30 percent at what at what kind of percentage does land look to not be as impactful well, whatever number you think that will be, we do have some data that we can look at here while uh, we're under maintenance here and make some potential predictions to see what could happen. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to show you this data here. This is uh, two pictures at two points in time coming from reporting from Splinterlands Discord server. On the left hand side, what we can see is data from November 6th of this year. This is when the land launch date of November 28th was essentially confirmed by Matt to be a very likely date for land going live. And what you can see on this particular uh, date on the left hand side is interesting is the act of rentals. The number of car rentals in the market on November 6th before land was essentially confirmed to be launched was 820,508 cards. And all those cards on a daily basis were generating about $1,500 in daily rental income. Um, what's interesting is, you know, we would ideally have expected between November 6th and November 28th with land launching today that possibly a lot of cards would come off rentals and be used and absorbed on land. Right, that would be a logical conclusion. But if we look at the right hand side of this picture, today's land launch as of this morning on November 28th, what we can see is the act of rentals. There's 820,727 rentals active as of this morning for cards, right? So that's actually a little bit more than 200 extra cards on the market since land has been basically confirmed to launch so that's interesting the rental amount is about the same at fourteen hundred and forty eight dollars in rental income so what's interesting here is we're seeing that in this particular case that a lot of rentals were not necessarily taken off the market and being shuffled to land we're seeing about the same number of rentals actually a little bit more on the rental market now is that because in the interim between the, let's say that four weeks or so between the land launch date being confirmed and land launch itself maybe a lot of chaos legion packs were opened maybe a lot of uh, riff watcher packs were open and those were placed on the rental market it's hard to say but this is an interesting piece of data that might indicate that land launch might be underwhelming in so much that um, you know, maybe people are going to sit on the sidelines and wait and see what land is all about uh, before pulling cards off the rental market or even maybe pulling cards out of their deck and putting it on land, perhaps. The other thing worth noting here, if you look at the data points, uh, just as a point in time data, you see DEC price around the land launch date confirmation, 93 Splintoshis. It's at 95 Splintoshis as of this morning. A high price is roughly the same as the DEC price there. Not much variation. The one thing that has gone up is SPS price. SPS price has gone up probably a little over 30% in the last uh, few weeks between the land launch date being confirmed and the land launch itself, going from 0.014 cents to 0.019%. So that's a nice gain on SPS. And that might be explained by this next piece of data that we're going to cover here, and that is the DEC rich list here. It's interesting here specifically is uh, there's a lot of um, 
DEC and people's accounts now in the game getting ready for land. You can see here 20 million, 13 million, 10 million, 6 million, 4 million, 3 million, all the way down to uh, roughly in the top 200 uh, being at uh, roughly here uh, almost 1600 million DEC, which is at peg roughly $1,600 in DEC. What's more interesting here is specifically this data point here and that the amount of DEC in the ecosystem uh, right now is looking at uh, the numbers being uh, 6.175 billion DEC. Now, if you recall around the time land uh, launch was being confirmed um, back at the beginning of November, the amount of DEC in circulation was roughly 4.6 billion. So we've added roughly a little bit over 1.5 billion DEC into circulation here in the last few weeks. And there's basically two ways that could have happened. One, Cards could have been burned at the burn value to get DEC, and certainly I think some reward cards may have been burnt uh, to create DEC, but also SPS uh, could be burned to create DEC. And again, that is probably why we're seeing, uh, again, this upward pressure in SPS price around 30% in the last few weeks. Now, what's going to be interesting to see here is of this 6.175 billion DEC that is uh, available in circulation in the ecosystem, how much of that will be staked on land here with land's launch? If all of these numbers, which all these numbers have significantly increased for DEC holdings in the top 200, if all of these numbers, uh, you know, most of that goes to land, well, you know, the liquid circulation of DEC could be quite scarce um, as well. So we'll have to monitor that moving forward and what that does to the flywheel effect and what it does to SPS prices moving forward. Another data point we're going to want to monitor is going to be the uh, DEC SPS LP specifically within Hive as well as other DEC LPs to see how much of that DEC is coming out of the LPs. That would be another interesting data point for us to monitor here uh, with land being launched to see if anyone had been seeing on the sidelines, if they start pulling that DEC out, if they haven't done so already. Well, there you go. Some interesting data points there with the rental market, with the top 200 DEC holdings. We'll see very quickly here in probably the next hour or so, if land usage at launch is gonna be underwhelming or will it be a smashing success that leads to the flywheel really taking off here? Time will tell, and it's not much time left before we find out. Until next time, keep stacking those stats.